Hola chicos, bienvenidos otra vez. Here we are. Now we're in audio and video number one, probably in the most important part of the vocab building, which is building your verbs. Okay? Now, what's very important about all of this is that I'm going to give you a way of remembering the verbs. However, once you have them, you must know what to do with them. Okay, now how you know what to do with them is easy because in, if you, if you have the book, right at the back of the book, there is a whole chapter on how to um, break Spanish verbs down and how to remember, a great way of remembering. Also, we have lots of videos in our Lightspeed Spanish website, which also does the same, okay, or which do the same, and that is to help you understand how to break down Spanish verbs. I've known people who have struggled for years to do that, and then with our very simple system, and it is a very simple system, you can learn how to break a Spanish verb down within minutes. And once you've got it, you'll never forget it. You'll always remember it. Okay? So you must know what to do with these. There's no point in learning verbs and then not being able to break them down properly. It's vital. Okay? But that's not part of this series. This is just helping you to remember them. So, when you're ready, our first verb of the day is to open, abrir, abrir, okay? Now, how are you going to remember that is, well, just imagine that a breeze opens the door. Abrir, okay? Abrir, a breeze opens the door. Okay, next one is to go to bed, to go to bed, and that is acostarse, acostarse, okay? Now, we've got the word accosted at the front of this verb, okay? Now, it has a slightly different meaning in, in English as it does in Spanish. So the way you remember it is on the way to bed, you get accosted. Mm, okay. Uh, accosted, by the way, actually means somebody trying to um, take money off you or, or proposition you, okay? Um, it isn't quite like the, the word that I think. I used to think it meant something different. Okay, so you're on the way to bed and you get accosted. Acostarse. Next one is to put up with something, okay? Um, it, and like to, to put up to, to uh, yeah, to put up, I suppose. I have to put up with him, I have to put up with this situation, okay? And the word is aguantar, aguantar, okay? And so how we could remember this is, is, okay, if you really want it, then you can put up with it. Aguantar, aguantar. I want a good job, for example. I want that. I want a good job, so I'm going to put up with it. Okay? So if you really want it, you'll put up with it. Okay. Next one is to be happy. That's a nice one to know, isn't it? And it's alegrarse. Alegrarse. Okay? Now, a leg starts with a leg. Alegrarse. Okay? So, you could think, well, I'll be happy to have a very big leg. I'd be very happy with a big leg. Would you? Okay. Whatever turns you on. So, alegrarse. Okay? I'll be very happy with, well, with one leg. Big one. Big leg. Alegrarse. Next one. These are crazy, aren't they? Okay, it doesn't matter, you know. This really doesn't matter. Sometimes I'm embarrassed about my own idea, and yet it doesn't matter because the more silly it is, the, the easier it is to remember, okay? If you're going to be happy having a big leg, hey, let's be happy and have a big leg. Our leg, I'd say. All right, next one is to rent, okay? To rent something, and that's alquilar, alquilar, okay? So, if you're going to rent something, they're going to give you a key, okay? like a rent a car or a house. So, alquilar, alquilar. So you get a key to rent. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, 
The last one in this uh, audio and video is to appear, or to yeah, to appear, to appear, mm -hmm. and that is aparecer, aparecer. Okay, so sounds like a parrot, doesn't it? So I want you to imagine that suddenly a parrot appears in front of you. Pretty Polly. Okay. Aparecer. A parrot appears. Aparecer. Okay. Good. All right. Now, so there are only going to be six uh, verbs in each of these, um, or six or seven, so, so that we keep them nice and short. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to test you now. I will give you the Spanish verb. You give me the English version. All right. So, abrir. Abrir. A breeze opens the door. Exactly. So abrir is to open. Abrir. What about this one? Acostarse. Acostarse. Sounds like accosted. Where do you get accosted? On the way to bed. Okay, we should be so lucky. Now, and then this one, aguantar, aguantar. So it sounds like want, if you want it, you are going to put up with it. Okay, aguantar, it's to put up with. This one, alegrarse, alegrarse. Well, you know, if I just had one big leg, I would be happy, okay? So, to be happy is alegrarse, okay? Bear in mind that the verbs that have se on the end, they're reflexive. If you don't understand what a reflexive verb is, you must then consult the book. It's all there. There's, we've got a whole um, chapter on helping you understand reflexive verbs, okay? Lots of material there. Make sure you understand. Just remember the little tune is this. A reflexive verb has an arse on the end, an arse on the end, an arse on the end. Okay, you'll understand what I'm singing about when you look at it, okay? Uh, next one is alquilar, alquilar. Mm -hmm. You get a key whenever you rent something, alquilar, okay? And then the last one, aparecer, aparecer. Pretty Polly. <laughs> appear. A parrot appears. Suddenly. Aparecer. Okay. So there you are. There are six verbs for you to start with. That's uh, audio one and video one done with. And we're going to move on to video two. Okay. I can't stress the importance of getting these verbs under your belt. Getting these verbs in your pocket. The more verbs you have, the more of a better communicator you're going to be. Okay. And that's what that's why you're here. This is why you're learning Spanish, is it not? To be able to communicate. So let's keep working at these verbs. Okay. Hasta luego, chicos. Nos vemos en el número dos. Adios.